Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease, where there are tongues, they will be stilled, where there is knowledge, it will pass away. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God and Christ Jesus our Lord. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers over all wrongs. The most important one, answered Jesus, is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil, hold fast to what is good. But love your enemies, and do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generation. But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently find me. Let all that you do be done in love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. And now these three remain, faith, hope and love. But the greatest of these is love. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. We love because he first loved us.